I performed that ritual countless times, and it never exploded in my face before. If I discover that you sabotage the divination... No. I shouldn't take my failure out on you. It's not your fault that things are... difficult. How do you know about... Lord Vivek told you? Of course he did. It's his prerogative, I suppose. You must swear to keep this secret, though. There would be panic in the streets if the people believed one of the tribunal was incapacitated. It's true. I'm much better at scholarly pursuits than field work. And the ritual wasn't a total failure. It confirmed three locations from my earlier studies. Balmara, Aldrin, and Berazar's Tower. I need you to investigate each of these sites. I researched what I could using the resources available here in Vivek City. To learn more, I need an agent to personally assess each location. Lord Vivek thinks you're the best one for that job. I hope he's right. I believe the mage seen in the ritual is Berelzar, who works out of an ancient Velothi tower. His experiments radiate energy similar to Vivek's affliction, but they're not a perfect match. Find out what he knows about the transfer of divine energy. House Redoran controls the town and nearby mines. House Halalu also has interests in the region. Rumors of a cult in the area concern me the most. I believe we saw a cultist during the ritual. Make discreet inquiries and see what you can learn. I have no idea. That's why we're sending you. I suggest you start at the inn. Secrets get spilled along with the drinks in such places. The miners may know something as well. I've heard that House Redoran has issued some kind of proclamation. Savage Ashlanders, like the one seen in the vision, use the area as a tribal meeting ground. These nomadic heretics deny the divinity of the tribunal and have no love for Vivek. But how they could be involved eludes me. See what you can uncover. I traced tendrils of Vivek's energy to these locations, and the ritual confirmed the connection before it went awry. Just don't discuss Lord Vivek's condition with anyone. We don't want to start a panic. If anything changes here, I'll contact you. You look well-traveled, friend. Are you, by chance, going to Sadrath Moor? I can make it worth your while. Opportunity? Or well, that's what I thought, until I angered De Fair by failing to deliver the special mushrooms he ordered on time. Lost the shipment. Now I'm in a bind. I have the mushrooms, but I'm afraid fear will evaporate me for late delivery. You aren't at fault for the late delivery. So fear shouldn't do anything to you. Won't do anything to you, I mean. I guarantee it. Besides, I'll let you keep the payment he owes me as well. I'd rather avoid the situation altogether at this point. You're saving my life here, friend. I don't dare refuse the order, but I also don't want to meet a displeased Telvani. For someone who's helping me out this much, you can ask as many as you like. 
Sadrath Mora is up on the eastern coast, so you could walk, but I wouldn't recommend it. Talk to Cinder, our local navigator. She can sail you up there on her next trip. That's how I was going to get there until I missed my delivery time. No clue. If a Telvani mage wants them, I can only suppose they have magical properties. You won't see me putting them in any of my stews, that's for damn sure. The Telvani aren't like you and I, friend. They're powerful and quick to anger and have no qualms about harming those who displease them. Outlander, I have a proposition for you. So I was right. You're a sword for hire. Excellent. My name is Marla Reithen of House Lalu, and I have a proposition for you. I need someone to investigate what's going on in the Vasia Didanat ebony mine. Piqued your interest, have I? Capital. My brother Benar and I share ownership of the mine, but I suspect he's hiding something from me. The little weasels even locked down the entrance. Only his personal guards are allowed inside. There are only two keys to the mine. Benar keeps one in our manor house. The other is carried by the mine's foreman, Knox. I want you to procure a key, either one, and then search the mine for any sign of mischief. Report back with your findings. 
Foreman Knox is somewhere in Balmora. Should be simple enough to pluck the key from his pockets. Or, if you prefer burglary, you could take my brother's key from the desk in his study. Our man is just up the hill to the west of town. Well, the key should be no trouble. My brother is away at the moment, and the house guards are not exactly the keenest. If you choose to pickpocket the foreman, well, just avoid the city watch, I suppose. That's the rub. The mine is well guarded. My brother insisted that I hire only the rowdiest and most ill-tempered mercenaries, so I brought on the Iron Hound Company. I can vouch for their pugnacity. I'd prefer to avoid bloodshed, of course, but I don't want to tip my brother off. If he is up to something, I'll need deniability to maintain the element of surprise. Besides, they're mostly criminals, drunks, and skooma addicts. Expendable, yes? My dear brother prefers to keep our roles in the business separate. He runs the mine while I handle the finances. He doesn't interfere with my work, nor I his. That's the agreement. Oh, I have, but Benner tells me nothing. It's just secure more buyers and hire more workers. He gets dreadfully annoyed when I press him about my concerns. Like, why do we need so many miners? Even the townsfolk are starting to talk about that. You haven't heard the rumors? The cursed mine of Vasia Didenot, they call it. They go in, but they don't come out. I've just inane ghost stories, truth be told. But if the rumors persist, it could soil our reputation. Well, the mine has underperformed for years. I'd actually considered selling it. Until recently, that is. Ebony has been pouring out of the mine these past few months. And normally, I'd be overjoyed, but that's also when Benner became distant. Anything out of the ordinary. I don't suppose you'd know the difference between pure ebony and... Never mind. Just give the mine a good look and keep an eye out for mischief. If you find anything odd, bring it back with you. I, I have many important clients that depend on the success of this mine. They'll hold me personally responsible if anything isn't correct. I'd like to avoid that kind of unpleasantness. I can't believe they want us to go outside the house to find Vea. You look like the traveling sort. In your excursions, have you perchance come upon a young dark elf named Vea? She went missing a couple of weeks ago and her father desperately seeks any information regarding her whereabouts. That's a shame. Her father, Eris, the house counselor here in Balmora, Promises that anyone who can find his daughter and return her safely to his side will be well rewarded. You should speak to Counselor Eris. He's opened the Kin House to interview potential recruits. Freelancers, as it were. If you're interested, go speak to the Counselor. The longer Vea remains missing, the more distressed Counselor Eris becomes. Counselor Eris can be found at the Redoran Kin House, and do hurry. He's ever so troubled by our failure to locate young Vea. If he finds that an outsider can succeed where the house guard has failed, so be it. I have no issue with Counselor Eris seeking help. It's where he's decided to get that help that concerns me. House Redoran doesn't need outsiders to take care of its business. But who am I to question a house counselor? If I knew what happened to the Counselor's daughter, I wouldn't be talking to you now, would I? As far as we can tell, she left of her own accord. There wasn't any foul play involved that we're aware of. Beyond that, you'd have to ask the Counselor. Counselor Eris Relith oversees Redoran operations in Balmora and the surrounding countryside. He's very influential, 
very powerful. Usually, the counselor doesn't allow his passions to get the better of him. But Vea is his daughter, after all. Fair. How can anyone not know about House Redoran? Is this some sort of outlander ruse? Well, in that case... Redoran is the grandest of the great Dunmer houses. We champion the virtues of duty and piety, and we have a proud military tradition. Our house comes first in all things. I don't understand why Eris seeks outside help. Talvani still keeps slaves? How else do those lazy mages accomplish anything? But what about the pact? Has Talvani stayed out of the pact? The Please! This one needs to get out of here! Those cultists, they're insane! Alright, but keep your voice down. I'll be ready to leave soon enough. In the meantime, if anyone asks, you're just here to haul cargo. What? Who? Oh, this one is just here to haul cargo! Cultists? But this one said nothing about cultists. Perhaps you are thinking of another Khajiit. Look, Renaku just wants to leave all these crazy dark elves behind and find a safer mine to work in. The Shulk ore mine is cursed. Really? You? Just leave Renaku out of it. If you want to know what happened so badly, just go out to the Shulk ore mine and see for yourself! I'm quite busy, can't you see? I love seeing new faces. For a while, it was just the same old miners and the occasional traveling merchant. Thought Carillon might have to shut this place down. Look at me talking your ears off. What can I get you? At first, I assumed it was the usual house squabbles. Redran and Lalu arguments can get pretty heated. Then I thought maybe the Ashlanders were scaring people off. But after that proclamation... No, I'd rather not talk about that with a stranger. I like the color of your gold, Outlander. Just between us, I heard the House Guard shut down the Shulk Ore Mine. Something to do with violent cultists who attacked the miners and took over the place. Even got the crew chief, or so I heard. Listen. Take care of yourself, Father. You always were good at that. I'm in need of a strong set of legs, Traveler. And you look like one capable of protecting yourself. Will you aid an old Myrrh in one last task? I have an obligation to my family. No, a duty of utmost importance but I have grown too feeble to fulfill it. If you would take this memory stone to the few places of significance in my life, I will pay you well. It allows one to archive memories for future generations. I hope to do this for my children, who have grown estranged. Invoke my stone at the locations I've marked on your map, and the memories I wish to archive will manifest. 
I thank you for your aid. Fewer than ever are willing to aid their elders in these troubled times. Now I suppose the distance with my children is my fault, not theirs. Ah, yes. Mills. My son has never really forgiven me for never being here for them. He's a stranger in my own home. No. If anything, it's the other way around. Even Naria has grown accustomed to my absence. Naria less than Mills, but both my children grew up largely on their own. My duties to Master Drenim consumed a great deal of my time. Mills especially grew up with Naria and no one else. He despises me, and I don't blame him. You'll know soon enough, as will they, I hope. I failed them as a father, but they are safe, aren't they? I kept them safe. I cannot travel with you, but I have attuned this stone to my soul. When you use it at the locations I've marked, it will summon echoes of things that once occurred there. The stone absorbs these echoes, allowing others to view them. What are we drinking to? Ow! Stupid dog! What happened? Let me see. I just tried to pet it. Damn dog bit me. Leave it alone. There's something strange about that dog. You shouldn't be here. Didn't you read the House Redoran proclamation? I wouldn't be here myself, but some of my miners are still in there. Our mine was invaded by violent cultists. They showed up and, and just took the place over. My people are trapped. I'm no expert, but it looked like the cultists were preparing to conduct a ritual before the Ashlander interrupted them. Well, I, I never actually saw an Ashlander, but I heard a cultist yell, Ashlander thief, that's our mystical weapon. That's not an exact quote, but you get the idea. I don't know what happened after that. I was kind of busy trying not to die. It used to be an ore mine, and we hope it will be again. My crew was inside preparing to start up mining operations when the cultists attacked. The way things are going, we might just have to turn the place into another Kwama egg mine. Really? That's awfully brave of you. If you see any of my miners, tell them to get their arses out here. I'll wait as long as I can. Or until I hear screaming. Then I'll go to Balmora and try to find some help. Good luck in there.
Did you find what you were looking for in the mine? Of course. I perfectly understand. Uh, I think I'll wait a little longer and see if any of my miners were able to escape from the cultists. Good luck with your mission. Whatever it is. I demand to see my brother. Lay hands upon me, and you will lose them. You there! The territory of the Red Exiles shouldn't be traveled lightly. Ashlanders once respected each other, helped one another. You'd think these were house wolves or tribunal dogs, the way they treated me. Speaking of the tribunal, you have the smell of dog about you. I wonder why that is. Lord Vivek, is it? And I thought all the tribunal cared about was building monuments to their own greatness. Nice to see that one of them cares about what's going on beyond their borders. Well, perhaps we can aid each other this day, Outlander. Ashlanders are nomads, but we gather at sacred sites to trade, confer, and pay homage to the past. Aldrin is such a place. That's why Chodala invited the Red Exiles here. But these outcasts won't let me into their camp. I need to find my brother. My brother, Chodala, is the Ashkan of our tribe, and I am his ambassador. I act as a go-between among the tribes. Chodala wants to unite the Dunma, and calmly end the era of the bickering houses. He hopes to convince the tribes to follow his lead. Head into the Red Exile's camp and find my brother. Otherwise, see if you can find out what he was doing in there and where he's gone. Be wary of the outcasts. As you saw, they won't hesitate to attack without reason or provocation. No, just our tribe, the Urshilaku, though he's respected by most of the other Ashlanders for his wisdom and strength of will. He does hope to unite the tribes in a common cause, however. That's one of the reasons we've gathered here at Aldrin. My brother and I have always worked to help our people, and improve the Ashlander way of life. He used to believe that peaceful negotiation was the best path to accomplish this. Recently, however, things have become different. He's almost like... No, that's not something I'm ready to talk about with an outsider. Perhaps after you prove your trustworthiness and willingness to help us, then we can discuss my brother in more detail. Perhaps. That's not our goal, but the tribes will defend themselves if necessary. No, we hope to present a united front and show the houses the folly of the path they've embarked upon. 
turning away from our forefathers and god ancestors has made them weak. The Red Exiles, they're violent, dangerous Sashlanders who were banished from their tribes and joined together to create their own clan. Chodala invited them to the gathering and went into the camp to talk, but he's been gone too long. I'm worried. You seem to have survived your visit to the Red Exiles camp. Did you find my brother? Interesting. I never suspected that the outcasts were disciplined enough to keep records such as this. Oh no. I can't believe my brother would be so... brazen. It means that Chodala really has changed. With his newfound powers and rising ambitions, I fear what he plans for the tribes. I suppose you have a right to know what I'm talking about. Take this. I found it among my brother's possessions. Chodala discovered new power out in the wilderness, and it changed his view of the world. He writes about it in that document. Now he believes he's a Nerevarine, and incites the tribes while I tried to keep them all from doing anything rash. You don't know? I thought... No, you're not an Ashlander, and the house elves rarely talk about such things. Long ago, there was a hero named Nerevar. He fought alongside the Tribunal, before they claimed to be gods, until they betrayed him. So our legends say, Nerevar united the Kaima and forged an alliance with the Dwemer. He died at the Battle of Red Mountain. We believe the Tribunal hastened his demise, despite Vivek's claims to the contrary. The Nerevarine is a promise and a prophecy. We believe that, through the power of Azura, Nerevar will return to unite all Dunma, House and Ashlander alike, and make Morrowind great again. The returned Nerevar will be known as the Nerevarin. All I know is that his new power frightens me. Chodala returned from a sojourn in the wilderness more vibrant, more commanding. He's always been strong, but now he's fearless, practically invincible and swifter than the fastest Ashlander scout. Chodala says his new abilities strengthen his claim as the Nerevering. I think it's the staff he carries. He had it when he returned, and now it's always at his side. I know it's unreasonable, but I hate that staff. He calls it Sunara. While the prophecy of the Nerevering can be interpreted as the end of the Tribunal, I have always seen it as a prediction of hope and peace. Chodala and some Ashlanders, such as the Red Exiles, favor war. That's not the Nerevarian I believe in. He uses an Ashkhan's words to plant dark ideas in his followers, 
ideas that speak of false gods, lost traditions, and the need for a cleansing war. His words become more forceful every day, but I hope to dissuade him from this violent course. It's in remarkably good condition. Yes, wonderful. I'll mark it down. And here, another. Could these have fallen off the ruins? Yes, uh, that is peculiar. Is something the matter, dear? You seem distracted today. Oh, oh nothing's the matter. I'm just... Uh, I'm nervous. Whatever for. If anything attacks us, I'll protect you. I'm not nervous about an attack, Bravora. It's just... Well, there's no good way to say this. To say what? Marry me. Are you serious? That's not the response I hoped for. Gilan, of course I'll marry you. I, I love you. I just expected something more dramatic. Well, I planned to propose at the falls, but today we didn't go to the falls. I, I had to improvise. And this is why you've been so nervous. Yes. Wait. Did you just agree to marry me? Yes, Gilon. A dozen times yes. My dear, distracted, adorable archivist, I will marry you. That's wonderful! Isn't it? Oh, Bravora, you won't regret this. You are the stars to my sky. <laughs> Did you just come up with that? Well, um, no. I've been saving it for the right time.
You too? This is ridiculous. I'm sorry, Talenra, but my wife insists we try a real mage. Help! Someone, please help! Please help. You must help. Bandits, they attacked my father's wagon on the roads to Suron. They're stealing everything we own. My father's a proud Mur. They may kill him. You have to help us. <laughs> 